Yeah, the mountains, they got a lot of snow, like in Steamboat, over a foot. And the eastern plains, as we've seen, they're getting hammered with the wind and the snow, the blizzard conditions right as we speak. The wind's been a real mess out there. Here in Denver, well, we've had a few flurries, maybe an inch or two on the eastern side of town, some down south. The ur urban corridor seemingly, though, just got skipped like skipped. Meteorologist Chris Bianchi is here to explain how that happens. Yeah, so it's kind of an interesting dynamic, isn't it? I mean, basically, it kind of feels like the whole rest of the state got snow, including, as you were mentioning, the eastern plains, uh, getting as much as a foot of snow out on the eastern parts of the plains. But there's a distinct reason why here in Denver we got left alone. Well, actually, there are two reasons for it. Here in the Denver area, we've got the mountains directly to our west, of course. And then we've also got the Palmer Divide to our south and the Cheyenne Ridge to our north. That means unless we get a wind out of the east, we're going to get a downsloping wind. And that is exactly what happened. So let's take a look at this. There's two main reasons I mentioned why we didn't get any snow here in Denver. We had those downsloping winds. I'll show you that in detail in just a second. There was a really powerful snow band that missed us just, and I mean just, to our east. You go 25 miles east of here, and we had a totally different situation. So really strong area, low pressure to our north and east produced a north to northwest wind, and that downsloped off the Rockies. That for us, along the front range here in the urban corridor, stay with me for a second, that is a drying wind. So let me kind of show you that here in just a second. You get that wind direction out of the north or out of the west, it's going to be a drying wind. Now. The other reason we didn't get any snow here in Denver, that a really strong snow band missed us. And I mentioned just to our east by about, 50, uh, about 25 to 50 miles. If we'd been hit by that band, we'd have probably woken up to several inches of snow and blizzard conditions like what we saw in Bennett and Strasburg and on north towards Fort Morgan. So that's it. We just had that downslipping wind and that snow band just, I mean just, missed us right, here. For, for the rookies out there, for the new people to Colorado, tell us what happens when we get the upslope wind because that's when we get the shovels out. That's exactly right, Tom. Look at you. you I pay attention. You're, 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 uh, you're a filling <laughs> meteorologist here. Yeah, uh, he is. Yeah, I mean, Wannabe. Uh, on a serious note, that's exactly right. So an upslope wind for us here in Colorado, when you get the wind that goes up, that means you're getting a kind of, you're getting a cooling wind. You're getting that rising motion in the air and that means that you're getting that precipitation to form. But if you're getting a downsloping wind, again, that's your drawing wind. That is not good for snow, and that's exactly... If you look at it statewide, the mountains are getting socked with all that snow. You had the upslope winds in the mountains. And then it's the eastern plains, you got the snow band, and we kind of got a little bit of snow hold here in the Denver area. Yeah, and those upslopes, when they sit around for a while, that's when we make the news nationally. Yeah, we do. <laughs> right now, yeah. it's like so cold, it's almost too cold to snow. Right, Greg? <laughs> He's like, what? Yeah, Greg, Greg got in cold trouble. Cold no. snow, but it's going to be cold. It is going to be really, really, really cold.